Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and some brand new WWE 2K19 women's roster news as early today 2K unveiled some brand new details regarding a portion of this year's game. As part of a brand new feature in WWE 2K19, fans will compete in a brand new game mode entitled 2K Towers in which players compete in a series of gauntlet style matches with each tower featuring its very own unique theme. Amongst the many themes revealed so far are Legends, a tour of WWE Monsters, Jericho's List and the Women's Revolution 1 and 2. You heard it right, not one but two towers officially dedicated to the women of WWE and the Women's Revolution. Now I'm trying not to get too ahead of myself here but it is great to see some female inclusivity even if it is just for this mod and it does give me some hope for the likes of my career and the Women's Royal Rumble. So before I get too sidetracked you may be asking yourself well what does this exactly mean and what the hell is a 2k tower? Well according to the official news article from 2k in this new mod players choose WWE superstars or their my player to compete against a string of WWE superstar opponents. Each tower features its very own unique theme and is populated by a roster of WWE superstars across a variety of challenging matches including different win conditions and fun stipulations. While there are plenty of normal one on one matches, there can be plenty of surprises from match to match. Here are a few match types that players will come across. Steel Cage, Table, Submission, Iron Man, Falls count anywhere and more. I have to say I for one love the idea of this game mod and the best way I can describe it is a total revamp of the original slobber knock mod but it's got so much more variety with different match types and themes to flesh out the mod and basically give fans a brand new game mod to play alongside usual exhibition, my career and road to glory. It was also revealed that my player will have a very own tower of its own with daily, weekly and even pay-per-view towers which will reward participating players with stars that can be redeemed in Road to Glory. Now it is still unclear if Road to Glory still will be male centric like last year's game but after the inclusion of the women in the 2k tower I can't help but feel a little more hopeful and it would be a great way to hype up the women's matches that take place over the weekend at the pay-per-views. As I said earlier I really do love the sound of 2k towers and it's great to finally have something else to play alongside my career and exhibition which quite frankly can get a little bit still especially for his hardcore fans who basically play the game all year round non-stop not to mention the fact that we finally have some women's roster news for WWE 2K19 and I really do hope this is the start of a bright future for the women in the series. Eagle-eyed viewers may have also noticed that it looks as though Trish Stratus will sadly be still sporting that old an annoying attire which we've come to love hate over the last few years but who knows maybe the 2k tower will provide fans with a way of unlocking brand new or even iconic attires for the likes of Trish Stratus who quite frankly are in dire need of an upgrade. <laughs> well those are my brief thoughts on the 2k tower mod and the women's revolution tower specifically. Hopefully we get some more detailed information over the coming weeks as I can't wait to delve into this brand new game mod. <laughs> well enough of what I think, I want to know what you at home make of today's announcement and which tower you're most looking forward to tackling as well as which opponent you think will be part of the Women's Revolution Tower. Don't forget to stay tuned to the Revolution for all the latest women's roster news, footage and so much more because let's face it, it's getting really close.